Episode 2 of my video game Flappertron, available right now on Steam. I watched 1917 a few days ago? What day is it today? Technically, right now recording this, it is a Tuesday. I watched it on... <laughs> I don't even remember when I watched it! Friday! Friday morning I watched it, and... My God! What an incredible film! Seriously, I absolutely loved it. I went on Metacritic after it. I can't believe it's got like 78 or something. I mean, what? Oh, did we watch the same film? I thought 1917 was incredible and i really recommend if you haven't seen it you should go watch it right now because i'm going to talk about it and talk about spoilers and what i liked about it what i didn't like about it etc 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 so hopefully you've, you have seen the film if not seriously go watch it it's great it's amazing okay straight off the bat what i liked about the film man i just loved the whole one one take thing the one shot thing i think it was amazing it just really you really felt like you were there it was probably the best design choice by far you really feel like you're in the trenches with these guys you really feel the impact of everything and the way the camera turns like when someone gets hit i just i loved it i think it's amazing the amount, the amount of extras they had in that film as well that that must be really hard to direct all those people there's a lot of people in this film a lot of people in this film um yeah i just it's funny though because i i the movie finished and it, it ended and whatever and i sat there and I kind of just sat there for 10 seconds. I felt quite emotional. My face was like, and um, yeah, as I was walking down the, the, the stairs from the cinema to leave, I was a bit like, fuck, man. I said to I was with my mate Chris, and I was like, fuck, man, I'm getting emotional over that. Fuck, give me a minute, man. I went outside, I had a breath of fresh air, and I was just like, fuck. Like, as if this film has made me feel this way, you know what I mean? I guess, like, it sounds really lame saying this out loud, but my New Year's resolution is actually to let my emotions in a bit more. So I guess, like, that was me embracing it a little bit. Usually I'd be like, nah, nah. Just kind of be like, don't let anything ever get to me. But I was like, I just like, fuck it, just let it happen. And I was like, man, this film actually really got me. Um, anyway. Yeah, it just really, it had this really big emotional impact on me. And the reason for that is because, like, you know, it just, it's more just the fact that the guy went through this whole journey. You know, it's just seeing all the shit in the war, seeing all the soldiers, the conditions, what they had to go through. Everything kind of culminated at the end. And I just kind of reflected on the whole film, the whole film as a whole. That's great. On the film as a whole, every little bit of it. And I think that's why I was a bit like, oh man, that was just fucking hard hitting and all this shit. I just found it. Yeah, I just found it really interesting like how much it affected me. I just, I just really liked the film, cinematography, the lighting, everything about it was really great. There is, I mean, I don't do light spoilers, I suppose, just, just in case. There is a death at one point in the film, which is quite early on, and I was really surprised that, because it completely changed the shift of tone, and com completely changed the film. But I loved the fact that that was done, because one, it was an incredible death scene. I was like, oh my god, when he, you know, when the person was dying. Um, and so it obviously really hit me and I like the fact that it still had to carry on though the film had to keep going without this person I just really liked that I just, I just thought it was a really really good decision I'm sort of, you know what, I'll discuss my few gripes with the film first and then we'll go into all the positives that I liked my, own, my, my few gripes is some of the acting was a little bit meh from the, the chubbier guy I think Mackenzie is his name there was some times when he was talking, it kind of felt like, like he was reading a play. I think because we're, because I'm an Englishman as well, you can kind of tell when English people are a bit wooden, if that makes sense. Uh, so Americans probably think it's fine because it's, I can't explain it. It's more hard to tell. Um, I don't know, but I just thought some of the some of the acting I was like, mm, that could have been a little bit. In my opinion, it just wasn't stellar compared to some of the other actors who were in there, obviously. It just kind of, you could just kind of, I don't know, you kind of go from a scene with this one prolific actor and that, it just was a bit like, okay, all right, there's definitely a contrast there, but there was that. Uh, my biggest, well, two gripes is everything felt a little bit too scripted for me. For example, there's a part when a, a helicopter fly, like, gets shot down and it flies, of course it's going to almost hit them. Do you know what I mean? Um, you know, there's a part when the guy gets out of the water and then he hears a song. Then he, you know, of course, that's gonna happen. It gets the water. You know what I mean? Everything kind of felt like I don't know. It, it just didn't feel so natural. It was kind of like this happened. But then he hits them and goes over there. Then this happens, which forced them to move over there. You know what I mean? Um, 
Actually, I got two more gripes. The second one is after the death scene with this one character, there's suddenly a fuck ton of soldiers just there. And they're peeing and talking and whatever. And the camera pans and there's loads of them. And I'm just... And I think that scene was very confusing for me personally. Because I'm like... And Chris said the same thing. We're like, well, have they been there the whole time? Like, when did they get there? We didn't hear them get there. I mean, what the fuck? Were they just waiting while the other guy was dying? I mean, what is going on? It was very oddly shot, I kind of feel. I feel like what should have happened is, personally, and I'm not a movie director or any expert or whatever, but when the guy was dying, have the camera pan around and then have the cars coming into frame on the right or something. You know what I mean? Then have it turn back around. And then him still whatever. And then that's when the soldiers come over. That would have made way more sense because I was just like, okay. So what you're saying is that if they had waited literally, I'm not even joking, an extra minute before they went to the to this area, they would have been fine. Do you see, see what I mean? Like a bit scripted. I just that part was a bit strange. Um, and I also didn't really like the part with the French woman. Chris made a counter argument to this though, and he said it worked for the character because it shows that he was still kind and all this stuff, even though you know he's in the shit and he still gave the food away, which is completely fair. But I personally think it would have just been better if he just kicked it down, went down, she's there, they stare at each other for like maybe 10 seconds, then he leaves because it just signifies, okay, there's a woman living here, literally in this fucking weird, destroyed house by herself with holding a baby, have her holding the baby, show the baby. And then just to the point that his mission is more important than her living conditions at that moment in time. And he's fucked and he's still going. I personally think that would have been better, but that's just my personal preference and opinion. So with the positives, like I said, I, I, I loved most of it, if not all of it. I think it was just great. The acting for the most part was really good. The dialogue wasn't, there was nothing stand out about the dialogue. There's no, there's no quotes in this film that's going to go down in like, you know, a book like 100 Greatest Quotes of Movies or something. There's nothing like that. The, the, the dialogue's actually very bog standard for the most part, which my argument is actually works really well and plays to its strengths because the whole film is about two everyday guys. So if they're super smart and they're saying all fancy things and they've got like memorable quotes this and this, I kind of feel like I can't explain it. It's like when you watch a Quentin Tarantino film, right? You feel like everybody in everybody in that film is very smart because they're writ because all their dialogue has been handcrafted. The Quentin's gone over it like 20 times on each line to make sure every line pretty much works and probably feels super smart and clever and the stakes are memorable, right? This film feels more real in a sense where not everybody is going to be super smart and have amazing quotations to quote quotations, amazing quotes on on their sleeve at all times. You know what I mean? And I think that actually played to its strengths because it made them feel more real in a, in a backwards kind of way. So I think that kind of worked, actually. Um, I just liked the fact that when stuff happened, it happened pretty kind of serious. There's a part when I got, you know, the tunnel blows up or something. Um, and then he's under the rubble. I'm like, oh, fuck, he's actually under the rubble, like, fully. And he's like, can't see anything. And it's like, oh, my God, this is so intense. It didn't kind of half-ass it when it came to that kind of stuff. You know, he could have just flown and hit the wall and be like, oh, shit, we got to go. It was like, nope, he's like, he's under, he can't see, all this crazy shit. Like, it was, it was kind of the extreme of a lot of situations, which I quite liked. I love the part as well when he's running in the dark and the flares keep going up. I mean, a lot of these soldiers on this film have Stormtrooper aim for sure. We'll say that. Let's get out of the way. And I think the film just ended perfectly on a perfect note. It just, he gets there, you know, everything sorted. And then it's just him reflecting. And then it's just kind of, it's got to be business as usual. Like he's, this mission was all that mattered. Now it's done. It's kind of like, okay, I'm just going to, I don't know. I just, I love the fact as well that he did this whole mission. And then the, the sergeant guy's just like, well, fuck off then. And it's just so true to life. You know what I mean? Like, some people have done some extraordinary things in the world, especially war heroes and soldiers, etc. But I doubt they've got the, you know, <laughs> the recognition they deserve. And they probably were forgotten about a lot of things they did, which you know, saved a squad or whatever. I'm getting depressed thinking about this shit. But yeah, man, as a whole, it's a great film. It's very impactful, very powerful. I really liked it personally anyway. Um... And I think, I think I've got a decent grasp on film. I've seen most, not most films, 
dichotomy, but I've seen most films that are considered crap. I've seen almost every film in the top 250 in IMDb, for example. That's not really lame to know. Like, oh, I've seen every top 250 in IMDb. I'm just saying I've kind of got an idea of what is good and what is it. Not even including the top 50. I think, I think I've got a decent opinion on films. I like to think so, anyway. And I did go to film. God, I feel like such a fucking pre pretentious little shit. I went to film school too. Fuck off. God, Dex. Oh, digging a hole for yourself here. Whatever. I like my opinions on films, and I hope you do too. So that's basically all I'm saying. Right, uh, I'm going to go. So hopefully you've seen the film. And if you haven't, then you should go watch it. Have a nice day. And try not to get too depressed thinking about 1917.